What is happening YouTube? How y'all doing today? It is Thursday. Uh, we're gonna go over some sales today on eBay, see how we did. I wasn't on yesterday because I, I had no sales yesterday, but we rebounded today, so that's good. Uh, but yeah, so no sales. Oh my goodness, the world's falling apart. No, just joking. Uh, but welcome, appreciate y'all hanging out with me. Uh, like I said, I, 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 well, we'll go over some sales. My name is Joe. I've been reselling full time for eight years now, and uh, I've been been using eBay pretty much regularly since I was a kid back in 2000 when my original account was started up. So I've been around a little while. Been through a lot of different things here on eBay. So um, hopefully I can share some experiences, drop some nuggets, help you guys out in your journey and your endeavor. If you're new to this or you're already a picker, I think uh, I think I have some value for everybody. Uh, and hopefully you guys can share some some things with me to help me as well. Uh, I'm always willing to learn because uh, you know there's there's a lot of lot of stuff out there. I'll just say that there's a lot a lot out there. So it's always nice to know about other things. So anybody can uh, I'm always willing to learn. But we're gonna go over sales. Make this video kind of quick because my last couple videos have been crazy long. So I'm gonna try to keep this one about 15 minutes, maybe give or take. Uh, I am gonna head to Jersey Mike's right after this. Drop off my packages because my mail lady already came. I've been slacking today. I had a busy morning. Uh, but anyway, if you know, I try to get all my stuff out pretty much every day for my mail lady. Me and her are pretty cool. Uh, it's good to network with your mail lady or mail person. Um, and so, so, uh, she's awesome. And, um, yeah. So anyway, we're going to go over some sales. Uh, like I said, yesterday was a big old goose egg, but we've been trending in the right direction all week since the week started over for us. Uh, or, you know, since this week started fresh, it's already Thursday, which is crazy. Like I said, yesterday, no sales, but today, well, between yesterday and today, and that's why I wasn't on yesterday, because if, if I don't have a lot of sales to go over, I don't have a whole lot to, to ramble about, right? So, uh, but today, between yesterday and today, $573.03. So, uh, my goal, if, if this is the first time hanging with us, my minimum is 100 my goal is 200 and anything over that's great. Uh, that's just works for me, my family, and my lifestyle, and our lifestyle, uh, and that's also just, this is just part of the part part of a slice of you know where other income uh revenues of income come in so i also do full-time um uh, facebook live sports memorabilia uh we do uh helmet breaks memorabilia nfl football helmets uh with autographs all the different players all different teams we even sprinkle in some ba baseball basketball uh, uh hockey and entertainment stuff like sons of anarchy and stuff like that, Freddy Krueger, anyway. So fun time, uh, I do that as well. Uh, and my wife uh, operates and runs our thrift store. So uh, try to stay busy, got a lot going on, but uh, obviously two kids as well. And that's, that's a whole nother, uh, just started a garden too. We're doing a garden uh, for our second year in a row now. So that's awesome. Uh, but anyway, let's go over sales. Yesterday was a goose egg, but I don't do the daily. I do the weekly. So between yesterday and today, five, 573 divided by two puts us at like 230 ish, 235 ish, something like that. So still hit goal. So I know we're still on track to do to do good. So uh, I'm gonna show off these sales and uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, we'll, if we'll see if I can. I don't have any topics. This is all raw, unedited. The 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 real Joe here, just your average Joe. So you're gonna get just the real me and and uh, hopefully you know if you enjoy it, subscribe. If you don't enjoy it, then hey. That's okay. I'm not for everybody, and uh, but that's all right. But um, and again, hopefully, I can help you guys out in your journey. That's that's the point of this is to share what I do and hopefully motivate some folks to say, "Hey, I can I can do that." You know, he's just in his garage doing it exactly. And so, um, you know, and and so wherever you're at, whether you want to make a couple hundred bucks a month to to help with a car payment, or you want to make a thousand a month to help with some other things, or you want to make it a full time thing, you know, hopefully, I can help you a little bit. Uh, but anyway sales and not rambling right that's what we need to do today sales all right so i redid my setup as well um i had my computer here i had my batteries for my boat my jet ski sitting over here i actually moved them over there because i'm getting ready to put those back in the boat and the jet ski uh we have camping trips lined up and things like that so gotta have that stuff uh ready but it was cluttering my area especially since i brought my computer down here uh what has been about a few weeks now also got me a dymo got me a dymo finally so we're not old school printing no more i still got my printer but we're not we're not we're gonna we're gonna switch to the dymo and uh i may pack with you guys briefly as well because I, I need to take all these in anyway so i may pack with you guys and this may be a 25 or so minute video i got everything laid out 
nothing really big. My big item to pack was for my wife. Um, I actually, my original, I've never shared this before. My original eBay is neon 3300. It's linked in the, in the YouTube. Uh, that's my original account from 2000 when I, when I, that's, that's my OG account. And so we still use that for 301 treasures, which is our thrift store here, uh, in North Carolina. And, uh, um, she sold, we, we don't, we don't do a lot on there anymore. We, we probably have like a hundred items, 112 items. I think it is. I may put up a handful of things a month. Uh, through, we just don't get a whole lot of, um, eBay items through the, through there. Um, and we don't source a ton cause we get a lot of donations and things now. And, uh, so anyway, the few things that we do have up, I obviously help, you know, take care of it for my wife and everything like that. So this was a pipe for a, um, if, if you don't know the, um, vacuum queen majestic queen i think is what they are majestic queen there's they're actually up there. i forget the name oh it's not up there anymore uh majestic queen Maj anyway i can't remember the name of it but they're 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 a really good vacuum and believe it or not they go for money and so if you ever see them majestic queen help me out guys drop it in the comments uh, I could go over there and look because I got more parts, but I'm, I'm just I'm just kind of being lazy. Queen, Queen, I don't think they actually have it on there. Uh, it is the Majestic fil Filter Queen. There you go. Filter Queen vacuum. There, there you go. So if you ever see those, even if they don't work, you can part them out. Like this sold for like twenty three dollars, which is just the pipe plus shipping. Um, I've, I've sold the head, I've sold the bu buckets, I've sold just the wheels, uh, the track, I've, you know, I've, sold, I've, I've sold the actual whole thing together. Uh, they sell for like 150, 200, 100. It just depends on which model you get or pick up um, or come across. And then, so just a little nugget there, filter queen, vacuums. You see them, they're probably, especially for like 20 bucks, you're, you're probably gonna do okay. You probably, you might as well pick it up, especially if it's got all the little attachments and things like that. Those attachments sell for 20 bucks a pop, some 15 bucks a pop, 30, it just depends. So anyway, filter queen. So I sold, packed that up for my wife and, uh, and so that's, that's out of here. So we'll go over my sales now, uh, which is my account that I also have linked into YouTube. I've got both of my Ebays. This one is Joe's Sports Cards and Yard Sale Stuff. Really freaking original, isn't it? Love it. <laughs> so uh, it's long, it's, it's windy. It's, it doesn't look good on a billboard, but for eBay, it is what it is. And I think I, I think it's actually Joe C Sports Cards or whatever. I renamed it, but it doesn't update the the, name, the username. So there's there's that. So I've already built this account up in the past. I think I've only had this account up for like two years. I'm already at like 1,300 feedback. So I've done pretty pretty good um, on this one. But anywho, let's uh, get rolling. $573 for the last day, technically covered the last two days of sales because, again, yesterday was a dud. Uh, let's go ahead and purchase shipping. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start packing some of this stuff up as I go because a lot of it's really quick. Actually, all of it's quick, easy. I got no systems. It's all games and easy stuff. So, ironically enough, if you, if you have any of these laying around, I just listed these. And y'all already know the other day, I sold three in the same day. I was like, what is going on? So I just got Fallout 3 on PS3 on a bundle I just picked up. Uh, I didn't show it off. I'm sorry. I'll start doing better on showing off my pickups. Ugh, I don't do a very good job there. But uh, Mint, Mint, Mint. This whole collection the guy had, 47 PS3 games. All of them were Mint. Most of them had the manuals. Uh, I put this one up for $13 free shipping. Boom. I, I probably could it up for $15 free shipping, I bet. And somebody would have grabbed it. But... Uh, within a day, not even, boom, it sold. So if you have any uh, fallouts or if you're looking for games and you're a game hunter, right now, Fallout is hot. So there's that. Uh, let's go ahead and get that one packed up real quick. I always put bubble wrap. Also, if you're a game, obviously, you know, if you're new to this, I, I, a lot of what I sell is games because I collect and I resell uh, video games. And... So you're gonna see a lot of video game stuff because that's what I a lot pick up. But there's a lot of other stuff. Clothes, I got a whole rack of clothes over here. I hate clothes, but I pick up clothes. You'll see all the plethora of stuff that I pick up. But, um, so it's not just clothes. Um, I gotta get used to my setup now here too with the computer screen being up here. 
I've got more room, which is nice. I gotta get this TV out of here and some of this stuff, so I got more room behind me. Uh, obviously, doing the label maker thing, my, my concern was I used to do everything one by one. Now I gotta make sure I put everything in order. So it's taking me, a, I don't know, I'll get quicker at it, but it takes me a little bit longer. So I gotta remember this was, well, I don't have to remember, but I packed it, this goes first. Fallout, it's gotta go in order. So that way when I do my label, it's all in order. That makes sense. So that way I'm not trying to figure out, John here, where's Amy? What is this again? I don't remember. Let me un open it up and figure it out. Don't have to do none of that. So, uh, so again, that's all for 13 plus shipping. Next thing up is a whole thing of Nintendo. I kind of wish I would have kept these because this is like the third, only like the second, all the, all the video games I get um, over the last about year, well, about a year now that I've been I've been kind of focused and niched in the games. It's been about a year now. Um, I, I've only come across these like twice before um, and they're always in a small batch of like five. I wish I would have kept them because I think now by now I'd have like 30 or so of them maybe, which which they're cool. They're the old school Nintendo. I'm nostalgic and I'm a nerd. I'm sorry. So when it comes to like gaming stuff, if, if it's, I, you know, if I, if, if I come across it and I want to keep it, I keep it. That's just how it is because um, I know I can still make money. So if I pick up something for $100 and there's $300 worth of stuff and I keep $100 worth of stuff, and I can still get my 100 back and make 100 and keep 100. We're every, it's all, it's everything's good, man. Life's good. Life's good. <laughs> my wife's like boy math. I'm like, well, you got girl math. If it's out the bank, you'd, you'd spent. So it doesn't matter. It's you take 300 out and you only need 60. Well, that other 240 gets it's it's gone too. It's that's girl math. And in, and in girl math, and in girl world, no, nothing comes back. Like it's not like a hundred comes back to repay the it. It all goes out. So that's how I counter my wife. When <laughs> it's like, hey, at least at least I get mine back and some. Anyway, I'm, I'm uh, so let me get those. Let me get a little box for those. But those went for a lot of six went for. Why am I? Why am I blind? Oh, uh, yeah. Why am I blind here? Uh, oh, because I'm in the shipping screen. Maybe that's why. Because I'm I'm in the wrong screen. Where, where, how do I get over here? It could could be because I'm in the wrong screen, right? Yes. Yes, Joe. Yes, that could be why. Uh, that sold for thirty dollars plus shipping. So let me grab a little box, get that going. So you guys are gonna, I guess, hang with me for a little longer, since I'm gonna pack with y'all. Oh boy. I also have a dilemma with boxes right now. I got a box dilemma, and I don't want to break them down. I'm being stubborn. I got, I got a box dilemma. Like I said, I don't want to break them down right now, but I got a tower of a leaning tower of boxes over there i don't want to even show it it's embarrassing but they're all the bigger boxes and i don't want to break them all down but i probably won't use them for a while but like this i do grab out of them from time to time, like you know almost daily so it's like i don't know i'm torn um let's see what's the best way of course not of course not i gotta play some tetris here Let's add a little layer of bubble. Um, layer of bubble. I know the controversy, right? Using padded envelopes, the post office envelopes. I know. I'm, I'm bad. Don't please don't judge me. And if you do, it's fine. I have, I, I've already made a video about it. I'm not going to go into it again. But um, you know what? Boom, boom. Always, always take your packing materials from things you get. Um, I also have family, you know, so like, for example, you get from Amazon and stuff like that, make sure you get, you know, keep your packing materials. Um, let's 
save save a tree, save the environment, help help that kind of stuff, save money, all that kind of stuff. So win win win. Again, 30 bucks plus shipping. Uh, we sold WWE. WWE 12 PS3 went for $9. It got caught up in a sale. Uh, $9 free shipping. So WWE 13, 12, 12 PS3. So there's that. Uh, again, bubble, always bubble. Or this, this white foam stuff works pretty well too. So um, either way it goes. Yeah, I, I actually have family that holds that holds uh, and grabs stuff as far as like packing materials and boxes. So I have like my mother-in-law, my parents, um, mainly my mother-in-law, my parents, my buddy uh, down in Georgia actually usually has a lot of packing stuff when I go down there. Uh, so that, that works out where I can save, you know, whether it be save a dollar and save the environment, it's a win-win. So there's that. $12 or $9 rather $9 free shipping I reused the bubble envelopes like this was the one I got yesterday and something I bought so using that um, what else sold so that's a little uh, that helps a lot a little helps a lot there all right just put these up this is part of that collection I was telling you about that I just put up and I just started putting up a bunch of the games and I've already had several sell uh, we got Gran Turismo 5, PS3, mint, mint, mint condition, like new, just had a little sticker stuff on it, but uh, outside of that, very nice condition with the manual. This sold for $13 as well, plus shipping. Or actually, I'm, just, I'm sorry, it's $13 free shipping on that one. All right, nothing major. Little stuff, nickel and dime stuff helps though, man. I mean, after shipping, um, I think, you know, I might make like, I don't know, why well, is both of these? I might make like 12, five, eight, these $6 maybe, give or take. Six bucks, give or take. Not terrible, but it chips away at the collection. You know what I mean? It's the stuff that I don't really count typically in buying a collection is the filler games uh, like this. So uh, why am I showing off a packaged container? I don't really know. <laughs> so, all right, next thing it sold, uh, I, I just put this stuff up too. This is part of that clothes batch I was talking about that um, I took a ton of pictures of all the clothes that I had got last, last season that I had not put up over the winter, which stinks because uh, don't be me, a ton of it was winter stuff. And uh, like this military, two of these military, uh, by the way, if, if you don't know, here's another nugget, but the military cold weather jackets, uh, it had two of these, um, overalls. Oh, by the way, if you don't know about these, that's, I hate clothes, by the way. I don't know why I'm showing clothes off. I absolutely hate clothes. Have I ever said I hate clothes? I hate clothes. Jeez, man. But anyway, Liberty, I haven't sold these in a while. Uh, I haven't even looked them up yet. They're, they're part of the pictures that are in my, uh, in, in my phone that I got to get up, which I think I have 13 or 15 more that I got, I got to hammer through, which I had like, like 60. So they're almost all up, but the Liberty overalls, I hadn't seen these in a long, long time. I used to sell them all the time years ago. I used to sell them for like 30, 40 bucks, uh, at used. Um, I'm curious what they go for now. Uh, I'd imagine still pretty close to the same, but, uh, I, you know, I, I must say, if you see those for a few dollars, five dollars, that's a good pickup. But anyway, um, and the strategy is take pictures for me, at least when it comes to clothes, because I hate clothes. This is a way to help you post stuff that you don't really like messing with. When it comes to clothes, I'll go in my living room and I will just start. I'll just go to town, just going pictures, pictures. I'll lay them out, pictures, pictures, flip them over, pictures, pictures, and just keep doing it, doing it, doing it, doing it. And then once they're all on my phone, I bring them all out here, hang up, do whatever. Once they're in my phone, I use idle time because I hate pictures. Like games, I don't mind listing. They're quick for me. Clothes, I got to take. Oh, hey, you good? Oh, clothes, I got to take longer because I'll look them up. And sometimes I get confused. Women's, men's, kids, whatever. So anyway, clothes are the devil. You need anything? What are you going to get lunch? 
and as soon as I'm done, yes, I'm packing. I'm gonna take all this stuff with me because I missed the mail lady. So yes, in like 20-ish minutes, I'm out of here. Jersey Mike's, you already know it. Turkey, too easy. So yeah, I hate clothes uh, and they take me longer. I gotta research them more, I gotta look them up typically um, because you never know with clothes. You might hit a home run and you have no idea. I've had it happen so many times with clothes. I'm like, you know, oh, just another $15, just another $20 and then, you know, you look it up, at least that's what you start to think because you do so, do so many like that and the next thing you're like, holy cow, 60 bucks, holy cow, 80 bucks, holy cow, $200, like it's like, doesn't happen often but even with clothes man it's crazy a certain patch like you know like this super bowl and this is just sports i mean sports isn't probably a good example but like oh it's got a super bowl patch on it that's a rare one now because they only made so many of those but uh, you know, that kind of stuff so anyway carolina panthers shirt sold long sleeve for 13 dollars, free shipping to somebody out in california so there's that um let me get this packed up yeah 13 plus shipping and again this is i just got this up yesterday with probably, I don't know, 10 other Carolina slash uh, UNC slash Panthers stuff that I picked up. Anytime I see Panthers and UNC stuff, I'm around here anyway. You see a lot of it. If it's in good condition, I pick it up. It usually sells, you know, for you, you can't go wrong when you pick something up for a dollar. It might sit for a while, but when you pick something up for a buck or two and it sells for 13, 20, I mean, you know, even 10, I hate to say it, there's no, you know, but plus shipping, you know, especially it just sits on a rack until it sells, boom, and they just pack it up, super simple. I probably shouldn't use the polys, but I do, just because that's what I order. Uh, but anyway, that's going out, that's, that's that. Um, Oblivion and Bioshock Dual, I'm gonna make sure the disc is good. I usually like to double check. Oh yeah, that looks minty. Sometimes when I sell some games, I kind of like regret it. And I'm like, meh, I should have kept it. This is one I probably should have kept, but it is what it is. I'm sure I'll come across it again at some point, but that sold for $10, $9.59 free shipping. Yippee, that free shipping. Caught up in a sale. All right. Got a couple more things and we are about done. So I appreciate y'all once again hanging. Let's see what we got next. I'm excited to use my Dymo, guys. Although I should be using, I guess, my printer and use up the rest of my labels because I do have a whole thing of labels left. That's, that's kind of bad if I don't, right? All right, so that's sold. Next thing that sold was the $130 plus shipping was the handheld to that VR, um, the HTC VR, uh, what's it called? Valve Index Knuckle Controller for the Steam VR. Yep, so there's that. Uh, should I put that? Uh, so yeah, so for $130 plus shipping, I'm gonna do a little bubble on that. I'm gonna put it in a bubble and I think we're gonna call it. Bubble, bubble. Bubble, bubble. And more bubble. All right, so that sold 130 plus shipping. All right, next item up, we sold a Pokemon card. I got this in that deal that I mentioned. I don't think I did well, uh, but this actually sold for 240, 240 plus shipping on that so there is that 240 plus shipping it's actually going overseas so i'm gonna put it in a i think i'm gonna put it in some bubble in a in a in a case i think that's what we're gonna do here right bubble in a case i think that's the way to go maybe maybe not the way to go i don't know it's a little thick there a little thick there i guess because of this let's see if i can pry that off or cut it off how about that so 
the, the, the nipple that holds the game and is like pushing up against the, uh, pushing up against the card. So, I think that's, I think that is a better, a better situation now, all the way around. All right, so there's that. Uh, put a little tape on this thing. Boom, and let's get some bubble, and we're golden. So there's that. So again, that sold for 240 plus shipping. Uh, sold a pair of shoes. Sold a pair of shoes, Nike Air Max, uh, for 40. Uh, let me don't catch me slipping. Hold on. Uh, $24 plus shipping, $24 plus shipping, Nike Air Max. Usually I sell these for like 40-ish, but I guess they're, they are a little used, a little bit more used condition than, than normal, uh, than I normally get, but not terrible still. I think I probably picked them up for no more than five bucks. So 24 plus shipping on that one. Um, I do like to use, where's this going? I don't know. I... I hate so, some of the changes that they made with the post office. I don't like because I can't use my, I can't always use my, uh, my shoe boxes anymore. I used to use these all the time with priority, but sometimes the price is pretty much the same. So we'll see what this one shows. Um, so you can get, the, well, I, I don't want to confuse anybody. Packing and shipping can be its own video because that, that can get a little confusing. So I probably will do a pack, pack video, ship video. Um, I'll become UPS again. I actually have a UPS for him to take. I wonder if he's coming here again. They already, they already stopped here once. He might have another one on the truck for me though. that sold um, Avengers for Avengers for um, Xbox Avengers for Xbox I just put this up last night as well 999 I probably could it up for probably could have put it up for like 1099 or maybe even 1199 is pretty much brand new looking but there's that that is the last one. I am gonna head to Jersey Mike's, get me some sub, get me a sub, me and my daughter. My daughter wasn't feeling good this morning, so she ended up staying home. So, but I'm gonna get a sub, probably turkey as well. So, if you go, let, let me know what subs you like, guys. Well, if you're still hanging out with me, at least that lets me know how many people are still hanging out. Let me know what kind of sub you like. And if you don't like Jersey Mike's, what's your sub of choice? Uh, why am I showing a, a package again? Oh, I'm gonna show off this now. So this is this is uh all right, he's not stopping here. Well that's a shame. I gotta stop when I go out anyway. It's fine. Alright. Um let's see how this works now. So basically at this point. Um I should have probably wrote down the weight as I went. I probably should have weighed as I went because now I gotta basically handle everything twice when I didn't need to. That's five, so I need to change it anyway. Actually, it's set for eight, so we're good. Uh, this one is... Two pounds, got that for one. So yeah, so I think to be more efficient next time, well tomorrow, is put weigh them as I pack them and maybe just write the weight on it so I can just go through. Or if typically I could be on the screen already and be plugging it in as I'm going, but then I can't tell you guys what everything sold for while I'm packing. So I don't know. And I don't normally pack with you guys on camera with me, so I guess that doesn't really matter. So, uh, but I am gonna show off how this works real quick because it's the first time I'm using the Dymo. 
uh, with bulk labels. So I do want to, I am going to show that off. So, all right, so that's that's that. The disc only is going to be, I already know that goes four ounces. Sometimes, well, as you get better at this, as I said before about, you know, reselling and getting into this, new people getting in, you know, shipping and packing gets pretty easy the more you do it, just like anything else. Like I know four ounces, up to four ounces is one price. After four ounces, up to eight ounces, it ends up changing to another price. And you can just see it by changing the number. You just change the number and see where it, where, it, where the next interval or level is. I think from four then goes to 12 and then up to the to one pound mark, I believe. I could be wrong on that one, but I, I normally deal with four and eight for the most part. So I've picked up on that and see that. Um, and then I already know what things typically weigh. Like a game, typically a single disc game is under four ounces. Uh, maybe pushing five, but I still put it in for four ounces. Um, anything with two good discs is pushing eight ounces. So I got, I put it, and you just put it for eight ounces because anything between that five and eight is the net is in that is the same price. So you don't have to technically look up every time. Like if you know something is, if you ship something out that you know is under two pounds, a pound and a half, let's say, then just put two pounds on everything. Two pounds, two pounds, two pounds, and you're listing it. And then it's, it's easy, it makes it easy on the back end. You just print your labels and you're good. So those shipping nuances and those little things, you know, uh, uh, that's eight ounces there. So I don't need to change that one. You know, you pick up on that as you get, as you get into this. And this is the, uh, that's eight, eight ounces. Which I have it for 12. So that we can come down and save a, save a buck maybe. All right. Uh, eBay standard envelope. Yes. Oh wait. Oh, that's right. Cause it's, it's that, um, we're, we're not going to use eBay standard envelope. We're going to use Grand Advantage and pay the $4. So there's that. And I bet this is, oh, this is the, this is the game. This has got four ounces perfect. So good there. Shoes probably are three pounds. If I had to guess, yep, 2.9. I had them for two. Uh, also, as you get better at the shipping part of this, you already you get a shipping discount right and i think commonwealth may have picked on this now he does it different now when, when it comes to shipping which i don't i don't totally agree with but uh but you know to each his own um uh, i do i do um um where they pay the shipping based on what it weighs and everything but i usually come down a pound or two or come down because i get the discount so i kind of pass some of that discount to the customer by bringing the weight down to help them out so if something is like six pounds like a lot of my video games for example are like eight pounds right well then I, I post them at like five pounds you know because i get the discount i still end up saving a couple bucks save them a couple bucks and it's a win-win uh so again as you get better with this those little things you can tweak and get you know and do that because that does help your sales um so anyway three so i had like the shoes i had for two pounds they paid two pounds but they were really three pounds so but i'm still paying less then what it, you know, they still covered all the shipping basically. You know what I mean? So it's still good. Everything's gravy. Uh, hopefully that makes sense. Uh, the last thing is that, which is not eight ounces, that is four, and that should be good to go. All right, so at this point, let's see how this works with this shipping. Look how much quicker this is gonna be. This, this thing should print it out way faster. Not that that's gonna save me a ton of time, but confirm and pay. All right, so we want to print labels, and we're going to Dymo. Four by sixes, fit to area, print. Oh, it's not printing them right. Okay, that's fine, no problem. I can, I can fix that. Um, four by six, page sheets, two, four, no, we don't want to do that. Page sheets one. Why is it on two sheets though? Because it's on a, um, I got to figure this out then. No, wait, does that do it? No. Four by six, but it's printing two. play with this because it is 
it's printing it like this, which is not not uh, not what I need. So I'm gonna get off of here, let you guys go. So I'm gonna I'm gonna tackle this issue. Uh, it should be printing the label one full label on each sheet instead of half and half. I may just. I mean, it's really small. I wonder if it would. I actually have done them like that before, and they do take. But I really don't want to do that. So. I'm gonna jump off here guys and figure this one out. So there's that. Uh, another pretty good day after shipping like 480 or something like that. So not too bad. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna jump off. I appreciate all y'all watching. Uh, if you enjoyed anything on here or got anything out of it or just enjoyed hanging out, make sure you uh, subscribe. So here's uh, you know just the raw unedited, just an average Joe. So enjoy the rest of the day guys. And uh, let me know what subs you like. Later everybody. Hope your sales are going well too.